you know, nobody can change our life but us. And I think the hardest thing, because I've also been in this predicament where, you know, someone very close to me is, is struggling and it's very hard to care about somebody and to show empathy when someone is going through it because sometimes it doesn't matter how much empathy you have for someone and sometimes there's just nothing that you can do personally. You know, feeling guilty for someone's mental health is not the best way to go about feeling empathetic towards somebody else's feelings. We can't feel guilty for someone else in the way that they feel, but we can encourage them to get help. We can be as supportive as possible, but sometimes it's 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 very hard to to put yourself in it so much because I ultimately think that someone else's mental health can affect your mental health and we have to take care of ourselves first. Just be be kinder to yourself. I think I think we all struggle with meeting an expectation in a, in a level of maintenance in life, whether that's financially, whether that's emotionally, mentally, you know, there's, there's all these things apparently in life that now you have to be. It's almost like if you're not this, this perfect person that, you know, the world perceives you by, it almost is like you're, you're a failure. And that's not true. It's just, we now live in a life where social media runs the world. And I think everybody at the end of the day is just trying to figure the fuck out with what they know how to do. And again, this life is really hard these days, to be honest. It's, it's for me personally, it's, it's, it's hard to keep up with my own life and my own self, let alone my own feelings and trying to be a hard worker, but then also allowing myself to feel what I do feel on a regular basis. And so I think it's actually appropriate to give yourself time in a day to, to, to just like let it out, whether that's like dancing in your kitchen or blasting music or you know, positive affirmations or journaling, reading, you know, like whatever that is for you. I, I think that we all need some sort of like release in a day. And, uh, as much as I strive to be a winner and I, and I strive to be my best self, sometimes I just, I crave normalcy. And I think, I think we all do to a certain extent. We all want to be loved. We all want to be cared for. We all, we all want the stuff that makes us feel good. But I think sometimes we lack the perspective of we also have to work hard at, at having those things, you know, like those things don't just, don't just come, you know? I think we're all fucked up. I don't think anyone's perfect in the world. I don't think that anybody has it figured out. I think that the people that are extremely successful uh, struggle with their mental health to the utmost extreme. And I don't even think that we could even comprehend that sometimes. And I empathize with, with those people. But if someone is listening to this, I hope that you feel felt first. I hope that you feel like someone's actually listening to you and I I hope that my words allow you to be seen in this crazy life that we live in.